Okay, so last part of the video here from day two. It's about one hour and uh, 13 minutes before uh, day three will start. And I will show you something important right now. Uh, you see these 30 guys here? Low morale is pretty low, just about 55% or something like that. Uh, he's got pretty low on his uh, 24 also. I'm going to use them to attack later on, but uh, they're now in a province with only 41%. And the percent will go up, but this will stay the same, or maybe drop a little bit more from the 55. But now it's one hour and 12 minutes left, so I'm going to move them to, to this province with 85, because that will give them a morale boost at day change. And uh, I can just enough to do that within the time frame before new day one hour and three minutes so gonna be nine minutes uh, left so i'm gonna move them of course i leave my country wide open but i keep an eye on this if he right now just sends his 24 men up here i can just go back uh, and if it doesn't i will go here have a morale boost on day change for these guys and then i'm going to send them back so that means my 30 men will go up in morale, while his 24 will probably go down, because he is also in a 41% uh, province. So, and these, uh, these numbers will, will be pretty crucial when we, when we fight later on. Uh, of course, if I go up in morale and he goes down, uh, I'll have a higher chance to, to take him and without losing as much uh, men. And before this battle starts i will also wait for my uh, armored car here it's another six and a half hours so i will send them here new day send them back wait for the armored car send it here then i can attack with maybe 32 men and the armored car something like that maybe pull one or two from here also we'll see about that uh important to take this without losing too many men and my eight guys here are uh disembarking so i will not make it before the day but i will take this uh province and then if i can take also the hayas provinces down here i'm gonna buy myself uh, buy my country together again and get some good provinces with food and material so food is good i'm still minus 100 but look at this i got 106 000 now all of a sudden what did i do well, I'll show you. Stock market, my trades. I managed to sell some grains and for 17. Uh, I put it up as a high price and people bought. Uh, that's good. I also managed to buy some pretty cheap uh, gas here, 1.5. I'm running down on my fish, but now I got money. I sold for 17, so I can, I can easily buy now for like 7.9. Take this also for eight. Good. Now I'm good, good on fish again. I'm still 68,000. So I managed to get my money back. Uh, resources good again. Now I can actually boost this up a little bit so I can make more grains so I can sell them again. And that's one of the reasons I don't build barracks. Because I want to I wanna sell my grain for expensive money to, to make money on the day trade. I'm a day trader sometimes, and I like that. Uh, still working myself up with the material. Look at this now, 411. Started the day with 360 something. And why do I gain so much? Well, because of the harbors I'm building. Here, here, and here. And this will just continue to go up more and more. You will see. In a day or so, maybe I'll be over 500 an hour. And then I'm going to make a lot of material that I can use for good stuff. So this was the last report from day two. I'll be back with day three later on.